This is Dr. Vineet Nair, and welcome to Maxit Talk the Walk. In today's edition of Maxit Talk the Walk, we have Mr. Ramesh Menon, who is a director of a company called I2 Cure. Now, what is this I2 Cure? What does this company stands for? And they're coming out with a very innovative product in the Indian market. So let us learn what you got here from Mr. Ramesh Menon himself. What is I2 Cure and what I2 Cure stands for? Welcome, Mr. Ramesh, to Maxit Talk to Walk, and we're very fortunate to have you on the show, sir. Pleasure. Pleasure. So, uh, sir, I would like to ask you first, uh, can you just tell more about this company called I2 Cure? Because I could definitely see that it has something to do with uh, what you call sanitizer. I could see from your background. So can you just throw more light on IT Cure, sir? Okay. Um, thank you for having me on uh, your show. Now, I2 Cure is a startup in the true sense. We are a seven-month-old company. Said that we have a century-old legacy, if I may say so. Yes, I took your when you say we are a biotechnology company, which is intending to occupy the biotechnology innovations in the I2 space. I2 stands for molecular iodine. From the founder standpoint, this is founded by three key people who have been in the uh, science and business world for the past uh, four decades. Uh, Dr. Jack Kessler, who's the founder of the organization, is uh, known as the father of molecular iodine. And he's been in the research of iodine for the past uh, three decades. Uh, the other founder is uh, Mr. Anil Kejriwal, a Singaporean national, who started uh, uh, you know, the uh, business of, he's an uh, IIT Kanpur alumni, a BTEC in uh, uh, chemical engineering, who moved to Singapore in the 80s and then he did uh, multi-regional uh, trade from Singapore to uh, many parts of the world. Even currently is on the board of many technology companies uh, globally. And uh, Mr. Douglas Pitts, who is uh, our president and CEO, he also was the space of investing into emerging technologies for the federal government of the United States. So we have a deep legacy. What we found over the past uh, years of when we were trying to uh, occupy this space was that, uh, you know, iodine is, is known to everybody, but is the most mysterious substance. So, uh, you know, whether it's a small injury while kids play or whether it is uh, using it as a topical disinfectant in the hospitals, etc. Almost everybody knows iodine as a substance, but do not know about the technological advancement that has happened in that space. And if I'm, I may not be wrong if I say Dr. Jack Kessler alone has more patent than probably half the industry put together. So I took Cure as a company was created to productize his IP, productize the learnings, knowledge, and the patents in uh, molecular iodine, and, uh, you know, create products which would be useful for across the pyramid. Some products in the future might be at the top of the pyramid. Most of them will be at the bottom of the pyramid. As we have this conversation, we can talk more about it. And I handle the global marketing and distribution development vertical. And I'm more hands-on in terms of the geographies, where it goes, what are the benefits, features, etc. Definitely. So, uh, so what are the major products manufactured by IT Cure? You, so there's an indicate already we got an indication I2 Cure stands for iodine. I stands for iodine there. So uh, what are the major products manufactured by IT Cure and any other products which has been planned for the future? You would like to start with some products and how, how you move along? Yeah, so when we started uh, the, 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 the product story or the concept, we knew, do understand that uh, we are, at the, when you talk about a product lifeline or a technology lifeline, we are at the very inception of the molecular iodine space. So we started the first product that has come out from our plant uh, in uh, Haridwar. I may uh, like to mention it here. Uh, this is the only factory we have currently for the world. So we are making in India for the world. 
though the technology is coming from us and singapore we do the blending packaging here and sell it to about uh, the the conversations are on with about 19 odd countries at this moment but we do know as the benefit percolates down to the world we we are talking about some 75 different countries that might require so the first product that has come up is a topical uh, disinfectant which also kills the covid virus sars2 covid virus so unlike other disinfectants or surface disinfectants the i2 cure bio shield which is a patented uh, uh, technology uh, has the ability to relentlessly kill the viruses that in, come in contact with the human skin you see what we are seeing is ever since the pandemic broke out a lot of surface disinfectants have masked themselves as good for human use actually they are not the world is now realizing the the ill effects of the alcohol based sanitizers yes they are good for surfaces but they were never ever intended or designed for the human skin what what actually happens is the alcohol based sanitizers or over what use of it actually opens up the micro pores and it makes the human being more vulnerable to viruses and bacteria the i2 cure bio shield is molecular iodine uh, at 1000 ppm if i may give you a comparison iodine iodine which is what is bright, broadly used across the world is anywhere between 5 to 10 parts per million we have stabilized this in glycerin vegetable grade glycerin at 1500 pp what happens is that the molecular iodine gets under the skin and the glycerin stays on top thereby nourishing the skin and the molecular iodine outgasses itself and thereby forming a bio shield and kills 99.9999% of the viruses and bacteria that come in contact so it is safer and also the it nourishes the human skin so that's uh, you already uh, what you call i was going to ask this question to you because what is the difference between iodine based uh, what you call disinfectants and alcohol based disinfectants so you have already answered that no Now, so there are a few more features i would like to please add please go ahead sir please go ahead yeah see when you and when you use the uh, alcohol based sanitizer yes it does kill the virus at that instance there is no persistent activity right so what our product does or the bio shield does and we which we have done we have tested for persistence across leading labs in the world what we did was we actually did it at intervals of 20 seconds 1 minute 30 minutes 1 hour 2 hours 3 hours and 6 hours at the 6th hour the bio shield's persistence ensured that there was success rate was 90.3% which effectively means it was more active as a uh, virus killer at the 6th hour as a alcohol based sanitizer would be at the 30th second so that is one huge advantage that you know it keeps uh, the, the 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 molecular iodine keeps protecting the pores the other aspect is there is no virucidal activity of the sanitizers or should i say surface disinfectants they take away the top layer yes they kill the virus and then they wash it away it the the uh, uh, pathogens are not continually getting killed so the bio shield actually delivers the uh, molecular iodine into the skin the benefits of iodine are known to the medical fraternity so no need to say and if you talk about who or other institutions especially the doctors even now they ask their patients to gargle with iodine iodine yeah right but it is a topical disinfectant in our case it is getting into the skin that is one advantage and of course there are other benefits like uh, this is the only halal certified product if you see any religion across many faiths uh, stocking uh, 
the alcohol based product inside the sanctum is uh, not allowed properly as per the faith but they are forced to because you cannot repeatedly keep washing the hand hence they are forced to stop or in many cases as we have found especially in the islamic world uh, a large percentage of people do not use any disinfectant or are not staying protected because uh, of their aversion to use alcohol now this is one product which can you get across the spectrum this is good to use for children above 6 years good for ladies because it is talking about skin nourishment and the worst fears of many countries of leaders that i speak to uh, in many places inadvertently or in many countries knowingly the uh, alcohol based products are getting consumed or ingested which is too too bad for uh, the human health so uh, now iodine as you are uh, talking has got uh, great disinfectant properties and uh, is a known antiseptic like everybody uh, acknowledges it but uh, iodine usually runs an odd color and is very is known to be very unstable so how has that issue been solved probably you might have done a lot of r and d on that so how has that issue been solved actually a lot of doctor uh, jack kessler's patents are based on this yes you are right iodine is the most volatile substance it is very difficult to control it again when it reacts with various other elements iodine re- reacts differently in let's say uh, water iodine uh, reacts differently in uh, uh, alcohol or any other uh, substance that it gets mixed with without getting too technical and scientific the uh, patent of dr jack kessler is based on two very critical aspects a the research has isolated the two worst or negative properties of uh, iodine one is odor and the other is stain when we stabilize molecular iodine at 1500 ppm for the bio shield hand lotion uh it is stainless it is odorless the molecular iodine gets under the skin and protects from inside what is left on the hand is uh, glycerin now all research at our end including the usage from me my family my colleagues you can wash your hands and the molecular iodine does not get washed away because it has got uh, embedded or uh, you know absorbed into the skin so yes you are right I- iodine as a uh, so if i may give an analogy you know if you have to send a text message a pager is good enough but we have smartphones so povidon versus molecular iodine that is the stark difference as i say you know if you want to go from here to mumbai you can ride a horse but why do you take an aeroplane likewise so molecular iodine is is yet not understood by the medical fraternity our sense is that like every other aspect across us you know even this uh, evolution will happen over the next few months and a few years where the the medical fraternity or the healthcare industry will understand the efficacy of molecular iodine uh, over povidone which hasn't changed any bit practically over the past 6 uh, decades so it is time that the, this uh, is brought in also because there hasn't been too much of medical research and uh, papers across the spectrum what is being taught in medical colleges and nursing colleges etc is the same old uh, you know knowledge capital which was created maybe a few decades back so as we see a lot of things will change because the evolution on this aspect of iod the molecular iod Uh, will get introduced to the medical fraternity and there is already a debate among the fraternity which is very 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 encouraging so uh, like uh, how now you can talk about i2 cure bio shield now how is how it can be used when if you can talk about the product usage and how long will the protection from covid-19 virus last if you, so if i may this. if i may showcase this is a 15 ml bottle the first uh, 
product that we have launched. All that that the user has to do is just two drops. Just two drops, right? Take a little and swab your nostrils well and rub it well into the hands. Rub it well, um, like you would do while washing hands or anything else. Apply on the lips if you want. You can swab your face, irrespective. Now, what is that? The, the action that is happening is once the, the, uh, the product or the bio shield is applied, within a few sec seconds, the um, molecular ID starts getting delivered into the skin. Right? And over a period of time, it starts outgassing. And that tests have said up to 12 to 24 hours. But when we make a claim, and that too based on science and based on testing in various global labs across the world, we are saying for the next six hours, this stays, the human skin stays protected. Pathogens are repeatedly getting killed and the person stays safe. Nine out of 10 uh, problems of you know, um, viruses or bacteria are inhaled or, you know, enter the human body through either the nostrils or the, the mouth cavity. And the carrier is the hand. So these are the three uh, parts of the body which the BioShield protects. Looks like a very extremely useful product. Now, everybody would be very curious to know about the pricing of this product because it's, it's being a a lot of R&D has been done on this. Definitely, it will. It comes at a cost. So, how is this uh, ITQ or BioShield uh, priced when compared to alcohol-based sanitizers? Yeah. So that's a very, very, very interesting question. So a lot of people should not get mistaken by going with the size of this bottle. This is only 15 ml. But what you are using at a given point of time is just two drops, right? Against Let's say somebody using a alcohol-based sanitizer every 30 minutes. So this is priced at rupees 388, which is the MRP across the country. By and large, on an on an average, uh, you know, individual's usage, uh, this should last anywhere from uh, two to two and a half months. So in terms of cost, it is not much because when we did our uh, studies, on an average, each person ends up consuming almost thousand rupees worth of alcohol-based sanitizer. Sanitizer. Somebody is paying for it, whether you have it at home, at your building, in your car or uh, office. So what I do typically is I apply it once when I leave my home in the morning and once sometime midday and I'm good for the whole day. So in terms of cost, it actually works out much, much cheaper. And the other variant we will come up uh, with the of the bio shield very soon is a single use sachet. That is a one time use. You know, uh, we already had many queries from airlines, uh, railways, uh, offices, mosques, uh, gurdwaras, where they would. You know, let's say somebody is traveling from here to Chennai or Kolkata, which is a thirty hour journey. Effectively, for the hours that you sleep, you are not coming in contact with other people. So, by and large, even if I take the MRP uh, of eight rupees, uh, one person can stay safe for an investment or uh, expenditure of twenty-five rupees on the entire train journey. So, the cost is 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 the last consideration. What I, we, I think what I under, what I understand is it is generating more value for money because this was it, it like it, it's a trade off between health and the investment you are making on the health. The, the, the no, product. this is allow me to make this claim maybe slightly you know pompous in nature, but the fact remains this is health. What you are doing with alcohol is not health, even if you are traveling by air. And this is a, this is a live uh, discussion I had with an international airline. They talk about spending close to eighteen dollars per passenger in terms of PP suit and you know all that. A sachet, twenty five cents, thirty cents a day. They they serve to every uh, customer who's traveling. See, the, the, the fact remains that once the science is established 
and for which we have test reports from leading uh, labs in the world. And we are talking about not just controlled tests, we are talking about, let's say, the persistent test where a person actually dips the hand into the virus after uh, 30 minutes or two hours or three hours and then we test the effectiveness of BioShield on how many pathogens or viruses it did kill. Sorry, I'm oversimplifying it. But the fact of the matter is that unless that science is, is understood, the value is... So everybody who used it has come back multiple times over. So we, from the marketing standpoint, we estimate for that every sale will multiply into another 6.2 sales or reference. So that's a he very healthy number. Now, uh, definitely, uh, as you uh, as you were talking about the benefits of the our IT cure bio shield and how you are planning it out. So, uh, and you said that uh, your manufacturing base, your setup in Haridwar, and this is the only manufacturing base which is going to cater to the world. Now, uh, definitely, this is this particular product is a revolutionary product, and this is definitely going to create 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 a clutter in the market. Now, is your company ready to handle uh, the the sales inquiries? Has the capacity been built up for the same? Yes, so we have three offices currently. Uh, one in the uh, US, Virginia, one in Singapore, and one in India. So by and large, most inquiries are handled either from the US office or India office. Uh, in terms of division, the US office is, uh, is largely uh, taking care of inquiries from the Americas. And that's why the uh, inquiries come to India. And yes, we have the adequate manpower here to, to handle that. In terms of production capacity, um, you know, we are talking about very, very, very large numbers. If I may say that, you know, for the a new product that we are talking about, a new SKU of the sachet, uh, depending on the demand, we can go as high as 2 million units a day. Or for this uh, I took your BioShield uh, bottle, we are ramping up capacity to almost hit a million uh, units a day. So that takes care of uh, the, the immediate demand. Said that we have the ability in the Virginia lab to create uh, more uh, iodine molecular uh, the, the concentrate. Uh, the simplified word is concentrate, so that we can produce more. So yeah, in terms of inquiries, yeah, we welcome more and more inquiries. So uh, where will the end consumers ultimately buy the product? Like where do they get this product? Is it going to get online or what is going to be your distribution model? Yeah, so in terms of distribution model, we are going all three distribution in terms of direct, indirect and uh, the online. When I talk about the direct, let's say institutions like schools, colleges, um, airlines, railways, IT park, tech parks can can uh, directly talk to us. We understand that you know they would not like to go through the general trade, which we are happy to service their requirement. Then we are also building the distributor network, which is the indirect channel, CNF distributor, uh, you know retailer POS. So you know organically that one channel takes a much longer time to build. Hence we are also looking at the online plan. Amazon, Flipkart, etc. The listings have been done. Milk Basket, uh, you know, One MG, Apollo. So those conversations are on. Hopefully, by the end of uh, next week, lot many more platforms will be selling it. But we do not want the consumer to miss the experience of using this product. We also have our i2cureshop.com. The itookyourshop.com also sells on MRP, but we make sure that the product reaches the consumer, be it from wherever. So, you know, irrespective of the cost of transportation, we make sure it is serviced. I've had orders from Arunachal, Manipur, Mizoram, uh, Kutch, or even uh, Koilon in, in Kerala or uh, Jammu. So we're making sure that the consumer experience is recorded and we uh, ensure that they get to experience this new product. So, uh, yes, so the distribution will be across the platform. I took your shop is available currently. Amazon uh, will get active or live next week. 
and uh, we are also soliciting or welcoming distributor inquiries from across the country so uh, how do you intend to popularize this branding like uh, you have any media plans because again you have to reach out to the customers you have to reach out to the uh, distributors so what is going to be your media plan yeah so when i said we are a we are a new company it definitely took us uh, you know how the bureaucratic systems across the world is so it took us a while to set up the production the uh, other regulatory compliances getting all the tests out into the world and ensuring that it is visible to everyone so uh, we started with uh, you know uh, releases in the press we also did a couple of uh, interactions large press interactions between the inventor dr jack kessler uh, uh, with the indian media we are also very active on social media to start with as we go along we would like to be seen more in the print media as well but it's all a function of how uh, do we scale up the production and how do we develop the distribution depth at the last mile so any uh, geographic area where it is already available at the retail to, uh, outlets we are very very happy to to support that activity. but on the other hand there are some btl activities happening uh, with uh, various uh, you know uh, events or uh, for example today my team is at a harmony golf uh, training academy where i understand from my teammates that almost 150 ceos so far have interacted with our team and have shown interest in knowing more about it so this is a story of an evolution or introduction of molecular iodine into the healthcare industry we were actually working towards uh, you know tuberculosis we are working about uh, fungal infections we are talking about toenail uh, tuberculosis we are working towards uh, eradicating tinea etc so this happened the the while we were in the process of discussing of bringing these products out into the world the covid pandemic happened we were always sure that the molecular iodine at 1500 ppm at 600 ppm at 2500 ppm at 3500 these are all configurations of the product it is good against virus bacteria and fungi now the biosteel was launched uh quickly to talk about the uh, protecting the people against covid virus doesn't mean that it is restricting it to or it's a magic cure for one virus we are talking about you know ideally we would love the poor people to to get exposed to the benefits of molecular iodine because uh, data says that we almost lose half a million people to tb every year so we want to be positioning molecular iodine and its benefits in the preventive health space we are not a curative drug yes in terms of new products we are coming up with products which are in the derma space we are in the dental space we are in the hair care space but all of them leverage the scientific findings or the benefits in molecular science and like i said earlier we definitely would like to see the healthcare industry debate why covidon has not evolved over the past 6 decades and how molecular iodine can be a few hundred times better than what they have been attuned so virus or uh, sorry vaccine against one virus i wish and hope and pray that it is here said that there are thousands of other viruses and bacteria that we need to protect ourselves with and that is where the the wonders of dr jack kessler's inventions uh, would would be of use and we would create more and more products which can be useful at the bottom of the pyramid it's a very very interesting thought sir and very interesting concept and i am very sure that uh, this product will definitely see success in the market and as you said let it let it uh, be a, a what you call beginning of a new set of discussions because uh, as you said uh, the medical fraternity has also been thinking uh, what you call the thinking has been on a set pattern so there is a time to 
have a relook at uh, new products and uh, new dimensions to be given to uh, the existing, uh, as you say, molecules like iodine. So uh, that, that's that's a very good thought, and I'm extremely thankful to Ramesh sir for coming uh, on to Maxet Talk the Walk and talking about your product. It was not only the I think it was not only a discussion about I two cure or bio shield. It was like how uh, uh, something which was already known. And we have not been using it. So that is the best example of this particular product. So thank you very much for... Iodine was first used in 1820. Yeah. I was going through the history. I found that 1820. Yeah. Yeah. So we need to make sure that the evolution process which started or stopped a few decades back is re-triggered. And this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning of the benefit cycle from molecular iodine. And I took your love to be at the forefront of it. And as you said, and we don't know what sort of viruses are going to come up in the future. So it's not only about SARS-CoV-2. Or, so we, we don't know what, what all are going to come up. So definitely we need more research, more research in this area, more new product innovations to come up. So on that particular note, I would like to thank once again, Mr. Ramesh, for coming on to Maxit Talk About. Thank you very much. Thank you. Pleasure being here. Thank you. Thank you.